All right, people, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Monday, and it's not Teller Night Season Kettle. By the images and all of that, I'm actually deciding to go ahead and bring back Cleese. Uh, and the reason for this, one being, I kind of felt that, you know, Teller Knights are pretty much doomed to be hit anyway, so, you know, why really play them? I'm just going to wait. This is only temporary. This is only temporary that Cleese are going to be here on Monday. Um, Teller pretty much, maybe... When Teller Knights get hit, I'll try to see what I can do with them, but if they're dead, then our kit will drop them. But really, uh, the thing is, uh, I'm done with Tower Turbo. I'm done. It's not good. So I'm going back to Defensive Cleats. And with going back to Defensive Cleats, I need to practice them, you know? And uh, figure out what I like and what I don't like in the deck and what I want to plan on taking out, putting in, chesting out. So uh, for right now, we're just going to use Cleats. So... Uh, I run, one, I run one tower, so that's that's the reason why I drew in, of course, so that's totally fine. Uh, I run three helix. I run two monolith to go with the two scout. I kind of feel, feel like, you know, that's a good uh, balance. Two monolith, two scout. Yeah. And uh, hopefully I can do well with the deck. You know, I still have Cleaves. Uh, Cucks that monolith and getting that reprint, so anybody who wants to make Cleaves, even in the tins, still going to be pretty expensive. That kind of sucks. Oh, he's playing the freaking uh, BLS deck. It has been a cool minute since I've seen this deck. It kind of it was popular for like a second, and then it kind of just fell off. So, <laughs> if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, then you can go ahead and fuck up your opponent. Okay. <laughs> I did not open up well. One tower. So like I'm still questioning whether I want to main deck the towers. You know, just play it. Because it's pretty good late game. You gotta admit, late game, fucking tower. Early game, you, can, you might have the outs. You could probably, with the six cards that you have, you, well, five if I do the towers, tower turbo, you could probably out, especially with Diamond Crab King, easy asset. But late, late game, you know, I could easily mess you up late game. So, I'm only running, I'm running two Fiendish Chains. You know, Fiendish Chains still pretty good. You know, I was looking at a couple deck profiles, decks as top, etc., etc., and uh, there's definitely some decks that uh, ran Effect Nailer, some ran Phoenix Chain. I think I prefer Phoenix Chain. And uh, I think the reason why I prefer Phoenix Chain is not only, you know, use with Stealth. But of course, you know, you got to run Triple of Stealth. Stealth is, like, the, one of the best clues. Uh I just prefer it just because Effect Veiler, yeah, you know, it's a hand trap. This is a trap. And if I can go ahead and... If you want to go ahead and get, use, use your MSTs on Phoenix Chain, shit, more power to you. Awesome. Yeah. That means that I get to save my scouts. I, I saw you coming. I saw you coming from a mile away, sir. I'm, I'm seriously not getting, like, any cleats. I'm not getting shit right now. So, that's awesome. I'm not getting fucking anything. I would love to get something, but I got nothing. Wow. This man is just going fucking off. Meh. You got your one monster gate, I'm just gonna flip my one vanities. <laughs> you just made me fucking stick my fucking fiendish chain here. Like, nah. And my one reclate. So, I'm still debating on whether I should play this or not, because it seems pretty good. You know, monsters and them summon or flip summon, it's all for its effects and get a ten in your turn. Of course this is of course mandatory, so that's why it goes first and the chain effect goes second, but you know, if it's monster special summon and if it's level five or higher, maybe it's effect until you end your turn, so and bash only to fail, that might be pretty good against, you know, uh maybe necros or something. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me what you guys think about this card, because I am completely unsure how I feel about recreate. Completely and utterly unsure. It seems like the second effect is mandatory as well. So it seems like if it's like an ignition effect of a level 5 or higher, like something that goes off, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it goes off as soon as it's summoned, it definitely seems like that would be like a serious problem. Because this seems like it would go chain link 1 and then that monster would go chain link 2. So for example, if they ritual summon like Trish. I said, I'm not sure how I feel about this card, but I saw a couple of Cleedex playing it. I was like, what's so good about this card? So, 
Let's see, but seriously, just like one towers, one vanities, one reclay, two Phoenix chains. It's like I really did not open up well, you know. But at least, you know, vanities and cleaves classic, so just kind of stall out. Especially against this opponent, man. This man is just milling the living shit out of his deck. Like how fast he's going through his deck. I thought he was playing fucking Infernoids. I thought he was playing one scale drain. See, this is getting stupid. This is literally getting stupid because the number generator is like, here you go, one, 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 one. So, I don't know. But Needles Bug Ness and Reasoning and Monster Gate and shit and Curry Bandit. I seriously thought this man was playing fucking Infernoids because at the pace he's going with these millions, it's just ridiculous. And I'm not getting any clean monsters, nothing to set up my pendulum scale, no scout, no pot, no nothing. I'm, I'm not playing, uh... I'm not playing fucking, uh... Wavering Eyes main deck. I'm sizing it. Because I'm not running enough cleaves, you know. To really make Wavering Eyes efficient, you really have to run some cleaves. Like, at least 16 cleaves to make it efficient. And it's kind of a nag, and it's, like I said, it's not, it's not one of the best of cards. I would not say that. It is not one of the best of cards. Awesome. Well, I mean, Zerik Plate's still doing shit. I still really care. I mean, the best I can do is go ahead and tribute the Helix and then summon Monolith, so I guess I'll go ahead and do that. Not that I'd want to activate the upstart anyway, because I don't want to... So, do you have anything... I blah 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 blah. Each time a monster is sent from my hand or fill it to grab, place one counter, remove one counter, add one DLS ritual, blah 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 blah. Okay. Nothing, so I guess I'll just go ahead and pop that. Which still does nothing, and I guess I'll just attack over you with a 24 monolith. I apologize, this duel is not going extreme, but I mean, like I said, this is defensive, please. It's more control, and, well, better way to control your opponent by vanities, right? What better way? So, I run the Vanities, I run the Scale Drain, I run the, uh, the, god damn it. Ah, oh, my god, what am I trying to think? I run the Lose One Turns, three, because I have three. I said, I'm just, I just don't understand. It seems like Cleese are kind of going downhill. They're not really that good. They're kind of meh at the moment. Yet, and occasionally I'll see originals. It's like, first place Cleese, and it's like, what? How? Like, how 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 you do that? How you do that? I don't understand how you do that because when I try to do that, I don't do well. So I was like, and and they were defensive plays too. It wasn't no tower turbo that I got that was getting first. It was defensive, and you know, depending on how aggressive the fucking format is and how few people are playing, I I mean, I can see Cleese doing well just because not only is a powerful pendulum deck, stealth is good, uh, tower. Like I said. One deck, main deck towers the Wavering Eyes, the other one didn't, so I'm not sure if I should main deck it or side deck it. I'm not sure if I keep it in, take it out, I'm not sure. But, I'm thinking about maybe just taking it out just because it's not that good, but late game it's kind of good. But anything that killer, I mean towers can do, stealth can do better, and that's it. If I draw a tower and it ain't ready, it's dead. While stealth, not only can I set it up for my pendulum scale and, you know, get my pendulum on, I can, at least I can normal summon it. At least it's an 18 meter, so, <clears throat> that's not bad. So no complaints there. So he's gonna go ahead and get his knight, and then I just run over my stealth. But I'm gonna just go back to the extra deck, and then I'll just kill your knight again. So like I said with vanities up, you really can't do much, and that's probably one of the things that makes vanity so broken and cleaves is that you know, despite you running over my monsters, I just go back to the extra deck, and I'll fuck you up later. So, like I said, I totally don't mind taking it slow, beating you down. I'll, ven I'll win eventually, and that's all I care about. Winning, event winning. That's that's the key word. Winning eventually. I can go ham with Tower Turbo, drop that tower, you get rid of it, and then bam. You know, yeah, the duel was fast, and I lost. Or I duel was fast, and I won. But, you know, it's too wavery for my taste. You know, I, I wavering, vanities, good. Skill drain, good. Lose on turn, good. So, it's all just fucking good, so... Then maybe he has some way of handling this situation. Maybe, baby. Oh, you could just go up to a 3,000 beater. Yeah, that works. Mm. Nah. That's cute. You tried to get rid of my monolith. Like, nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Look at this, I'm not even pendulum summoning, I'm not even saying on my scale, I really can't. You know, 
like I said, I just need to find a good balance between clean monsters and back row. And like I said, I'm not sure how I feel about replay. Sacrifice is good. Yeah, even when I ran Tower Turbo, it was good. Some Tower Turbo decks didn't run it, and I was at the second that I took it out. But I was worried about running to shit that wouldn't allow me to drop or pendulum summon. Like, what if, for example, if I went against Evil Swarms, what the fuck would I do? I can't. All I can do in Tower Turbo is pendulum, tribute, summon. So that would be that. You know, I can't pendulum summon. So, so I can sacrifice allows me to take the duel slow, and actually, that's one of the things that I liked about it is that I could take the duel slow. Okay. It's defense clays for you. At least it's not Tower Turbo. Like I said, you, yeah, I mean, it's either or. It's either or. Either I'm going to go Tower Turbo on your ass and drop towers, and hopefully you can get over it. And if you can't, you lose, you know. Or, <laughs> or, and it's the other uh, one, uh, I play Defensive Ward. So it's, e it's either or. Like I said, you cannot make me feel bad right now. I feel I feel nothing, because this is how I wanted to play the deck. I wanted to play Cleese like this, because it's actually fucking good. Like I said, I'm not sure how I feel about Reclifort. And or replay it and tell me what you guys think about the scar. Should I run it? Should I not? Because I can always put other shit in. Or should I just go with Fiendish Strength? I am gonna play the Mind Crash because Mind Crash is fucking stupid. And uh, yeah, just defensive. I'm gonna side deck the Wavering Eyes just in case I go against a Mirror Match or some kind of Pendulum de based deck. Sure. But main deck, like I said, I neg hard. Like, not only do I put my monsters in my scales and then destroy them, which means they go back to track, which is nah, because I can always punch them in the back, but like I said, they're not in my hand. And use my wavering eyes, and like I said, and fucking, and to get a scout, you get you destroy that scout. I'm shit luck, so that's bad too. So I'm gonna go ahead and normal summon, normal summon without tribute. There's no point. Equip myself with sacrifice, which is another card at one. Like that, this this duel has straight up just been number generator. Cause I've just been getting cards crazy. I won. So. You say I play like a bitch, huh? Let's see how much of a bitch I am when I fix this fucking lose one turn on your bitch ass. No. So it seems like this card's only good. It's like it's like it's like a searchable kind of skill during S card. Like I said, I gotta see replay because like I said, I've seen it a handful of times and. Really, I, to the truth, I don't even know what I'm doing against. I it's just because I've literally just been knocking, walking this guy down. Yeah, literally been walking this guy down. <laughs> Next turn, I can actually drop towers because you're two, you're one, seven towers. Not bad. During my case of storm seven, you can banish this a light and dark monster special summon, fucking uh, bless. So okay. Oh shit, he's going to be LS. Negate his effects, or, you know what, let's just go lose one turn. So you can just go to defense mode. Oh, is it unaffected by shit? Seems weird. Like I said, I guess not since he's like banish, 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 banish. Yeah, I guess I can see. The reason why he would want to go ahead and mill a butt pound. Like I said, I've never played this BLS deck, not even once. I've only seen it a handful of times. It was copy for like a second, and then it just dropped down in popularity, so. Mm hmm. So, what's better? <clears throat> like I said, what's better than just towers? How about towers with fucking lose one turn? How's that sound? <laughs> Another BLS. Mm hmm. Oh, that's why they're not going defense mode. Defense mode because they're, uh, because they're not effect monsters. Huh. Okay. Nope, my monolith is dead. Yep, I'll take that too. I said I would love to fucking get scout. Scout would just be marvelous right now. Minecraft, I have no idea what's in the second hand, but I totally don't need fucking Minecraft, so. Like I said, 
He's just summoning. He's just dropping these BLSs, and I can't do shit about it. Actually, why the fuck did I go to defense mode? I could have fucking played skill drain. Uh, cause I'd, I'd rather have fucking towers in my field, even though even though I'm not gonna be able to summon it at all. Like fucking towers is just dead. So when a monster that can't be destroyed in battle in defense mode, and if you kill it, I get my search for sacrifice. Lose one turn, skill drain, like I said, I should be okay. There's not much that he can do right now. I'm getting these BLSs. Like I said, I think the monsters, these little ones, give them additional effects, but I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm just not drawing anything. Like, that's what sucks, I'm just not drawing anything. I wish I would draw something. Like, fucking Minecraft should have been probably great right now because I can go ahead and set it, but. Okay, let me draw a clean monster. Let me draw just any clean monster. Alright. Reasoning, I guess I'll call four. But I have no idea. <laughs> Mm-hmm. There you go. I was gonna say, are you not going to defense mode? Because if you're not, then I'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> you said, you're trying, but I just, you know, defensively, they got you locked down too well. The true BLS? Yep, the true BLS. Yep. I'm just not getting anything. I said reclay it. Still not sure how you work, so I might just go ahead and take you out. Yeah, give me a clean monster. <coughs> you know, I still gotta deal with these fucking BLS is 3,000, but at least this will go up to. Shit, it'll go up to 27. Well, I can go ahead and tribute. If I get a clean monster, I contribute. I need one of my stronger cleaves. This duel is actually getting kind of stupid. The head has defensive cleaves for you. I'll just stall out. Finally, there's fucking scout. Yes, I can actually get into this fucking duel. Hell yeah. Yeah, I can get into this duel. Finally. Oh, damn, Scout, where were you? You haven't appeared at all fucking duel, and that sucks. Go ahead and give me Monolith. I'm gonna go ahead and play Monolith. Pendulum summon a butt ton, even though they really can't do much. At least Monolith will be good. You know you're gonna go to defense mode. Some you. Some you. Mm hmm. And I guess I'll go ahead and tribute some new three for towers. I guess. Hmm. No, I'll tribute some new three because you are about to be totally fine. Cause I'm maybe. No, actually, no, you're not. <laughs> actually, no, yeah, you will be. Because skill drain plus the tower minus, you'll be fine. Felix, sure. I'm not to show your field spell. Not that it's really doing anything, but for real, just go ahead and get rid of that. So you can go ahead and kill the original BLS. You can kill a BL one of the BLSs. You can kill a BLS. You can kill a BLS. I can go to main phase two, activate tower, send a send a monster, don't care. And it seems like I'm doing just fine without recreate, so might go ahead and just take it out. <laughs> Let's draw.
And he said, I think that might be a game, sir. There's not much you can do to get out of a situation unless you have like a fucking heavy storm or something. Mm hmm. So, yes, he's like, I'm gonna crush it into the towers. I'm gonna get rid of that tower. It's like, okay. I wonder how skill drain works. Does it already just have this, the 3000 attack? Because even if I play skill drain and it's specs negated? We'll find out. We will find out, people. Yep, you just drop down to zero, so it doesn't change, can't redeclare, you run right into me for 3,000. Alright, I'm actually pretty busy today, so I'm actually going to call this some short one. Of course, we'll be back with more, but, uh, yeah, Defensive Cleaser, that's what I'm going with. Uh, I just definitely feel like Defensive Cleaser is a better deck, you know. I'm not sure how I'm going to play the Minecraft, I think I'm still going to keep it in because it's just so good. Um, like I said, I don't like replay. I, I never really liked it, and I just saw Cleaver Clicks decks playing it. I mean, I guess you can go ahead. It, it, it's a pretty good negate if you can chain to it, but if it's already on the field, it's not that good, you know, because it's a mandatory. So, like I said, you go summon Manju, activate effect, I go, bam, chain replay, you're negated. Awesome. But then any other level 4 monster, level 4 level monster summon, it will go summon, uh, my replay will go off and be chain link one because it's mandatory and then you get your effect turns off backwards so you get your effect and then your effect negated which is stupid so i don't know and i guess the same thing when it comes to special summon monsters so it's kind of like a odd searchable fiendish chain like i don't know i don't know only a little temporary you'll only really stop one monster because any monster after that it's just mandatory so so it'll be chain link one then the other the ignition monster will be chain link two so it's just dumb so unless it's a monster that you know activates the effect like, uh, a trigger effect, like, like, I don't know, like bear, let's say bear, for example. Let's say you go ahead and go, summon bear, your effect's negated as soon as you hit the field. So, and it's negated until the end of the turn. So, trigger effects, it's great against. But, ignition effects, not really, and there's been a lot of ignition effects, you know, with, uh, you know, Shadows, they're kind of not ignition effects, but, nah. Uh, but I'm not really worried about Shadows, I'm worried about the more aggressive decks. Inferno is their ignition effects generally, you know, Nutri Deviati, their ignition effects, they go off from their summon, so... Unless I chain Reclaim Fort, no. Uh, Necros are mostly ignition effects, like I said, it's just not a really good card, so I'm gonna take this out. I just, I haven't been feeling it. I haven't been feeling it. Uh, losing turns are great, of course. Venus Chains, meh, yeah. you know. When I got Skill Drain, losing turns, Venus Chains, like, how about you just not play Yu-Gi-Oh? And that's exactly how I want to play it. I don't care if I gotta be dirty Dan. How about you just not play Yu-Gi-Oh? Because I don't want you to play Yu-Gi-Oh. And when these necro I mean when these cleave decks that get first place, when they pretty much say, no, you don't play Yu-Gi-Oh, when I can play fucking skill drain vanities, triple lose one turn, and on walls, mistakes, because I really don't need to search. You know, you need to search in necros, you need to search more than me. Because I'm literally just gonna summon out these eighteen beaters. I'll take the duel slow. I'll beat you down eventually, so Yeah. So anyway, like I said, defensive clues are gonna be on here until New ban list, and then I'll see. Mm, nope, Teller Knights are still doable. So we'll maybe move Cleese to a different day, or uh, we'll keep it on here and be like, nope, Teller Knights are dead. And uh, I want to play side frames eventually, but I don't know. I don't know. But I just didn't feel like playing Teller Knights where I'm literally just waiting for the deck to be hit. And every single week that goes by, the deck's unhit, and I'm just like, come on, can the deck please get hit so I can do something with it? So. I'm always, uh, while I'm waiting, twiddling my thumbs, I'm always going to just go ahead and get practice with defensive cleats. Well, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support. If you guys have any suggestions to go ahead and help me out with this deck, I will be, uh, happy to receive your, uh, tips and tricks. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow with, uh, trades. Tagging. Alright, people, thanks for watching.